Okay, so I found a fix for a problem that I've been running into recently now that I'm shooting more video. Thought I'd share it with you guys, just in case you're running into the same problem. So the other week I took a trip out to New Brunswick with my girlfriend. New Brunswick was a very picturesque area, was really looking forward to get the drone up, but the main purpose for the visit was to meet family and it was a social event. So I really only had one opportunity to launch the drone. So I get the drone up there and I'm absolutely loving the footage that I'm getting. But as I'm going along, I'm thinking to myself, ooh, that would make a really cool picture. And a little bit further on, I'm thinking, oh, that would make a really good picture as well. But because I didn't want to ruin the shot, I wanted it to be one continuous clip and I didn't have time to do the whole clip and stop, go back and get the individual pictures, I started searching for a solution that would solve this problem. Other than taking a screenshot of it, which I find produces too low a resolution image. And I found this cool little trick. Come over here, I'll show you. So while I'm in DaVinci Resolve, I line up the shot that I want. So I've got it all lined up here. I go to File, Export, Current Frame as Still and I want it to go to my desktop and I'm going to click export and now if I go to my desktop and go get info there's an 8.3 meg high resolution image that I can throw into Lightroom and do some further finessing with. Let's go back here we're going to line up this shot here, this is pretty much what I want. I'm going to go File, Export, Create Frame as Still. Again, save that to the desktop again. Drag these images into Lightroom. Add two photos. Now, they're not raw images, but that's okay because I've done most of the color grading already in DaVinci Resolve. Well, I've graded it for how I want the entire shot to look. When they started off like this, I've done my color grading. I've got it pretty much to where I want it to be. So it's a high resolution JPEG. But even still, you can still do a fair amount of tweaking to it. So let's say go like this. I want to make those punch up a little bit more. I want that to be a little bit greener stand out a little bit. I want the green to pop even more, so I want like a big juxtaposition between these two. All right, let me go with the, make that pop a little bit. Pretty happy with that. Haven't made any huge changes. Maybe I'll go down to effects, add some texture, a little bit of clarity, pop the dehaze a bit. I'm not gonna put on a vignette, or at least not yet. And then we're gonna go into crop. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna do our standard four by five to appease the Instagram gods. I kinda of wanna flip it. I wanna make it going that way. Hit return. Here's our image. And I'm pretty happy with the image that I have. Now, two things to keep in mind. Two things that will make it so that you can't use this technique. First thing is frame rate of your drone is key. So I know a lot of people like to shoot in 24 frames per second because that's what's the standard in movies. I always find that a little too stuttery when it comes to drone footage. So I usually shoot it at 30 frames per second. But when I know I'm doing something like this where I'm gonna to want to extract skills, I shoot at 60 frames per second. That keeps every frame nice and sharp. If you have that motion blur, then it's hard to extract a still from that, obviously because it's blurry. The second thing is, if your timeline resolution is 1080p, which I know a lot of people edit at 1080p and then export at 4K just because it can speed up the machine and the editing process, if you do that screenshot, it's only gonna capture a 1080p image. So if you're editing on 1080p, make sure to switch it over to Ultra HD, and then when you do the screen capture, it'll be the larger resolution image. And that's it. That's a quick way to grab high resolution stills from your drone videos. So you don't have to worry about going back, wasting your battery, getting going back to get the stills that you saw while you were shooting the video. And for me, that's taken a lot of stress off of my shoulders when I'm flying. I, I just throw it into a higher frame rate, 
get the video that I want and extract the stills later. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Get out there, fly safe, have fun. Most importantly, launch your damn drone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.